Alright guys, how's it going? So I was recently tagged on Facebook and the user Steve basically writes pretty cool add-on, any chance you could make a video. So here we are, ta-da! And the add-on is called Array Tools. It's available on GitHub for free, I'll put the link in the description down below. Now one thing is, when you read the instructions, it actually says this will be available in Blender 2.81. Now this could be user error or it could just be me being a complete idiot, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So if you know where it is, put a comment down below. But we can use the zip file and we can install the add-on like any other add-on. So let's quickly jump into Blender and what we'll do is we'll take a quick look at the add-on and then we'll probably throw something like rigid body onto it and we'll go crazy, why not? So if you press N to bring up the properties tab, you can see here array tools. So we'll quickly start an array and you can see up the top right we have the number of count so we can change this to let's say 5. Now copy only essentially duplicates our copies, the default is duplicate so we'll just leave it on default and I'm going to change the offset to something like 5 meters and we get this kind of cool effect. Now one thing we can play around with is the scale, now scale works on a percentage value so you can easily scale from 0 to 100% but we'll leave that and we'll leave the rotation at the moment. And what I'll do here is I'll drop down row options and I'm actually going to change the Y to something like let's say 3 meters and I'm going to change the Z, I'll make that 3 meters as well and I'm going to up the row count. Now if you don't do this it means the rows will essentially sit on top of each other. So when I up the row count we'll get something like this pretty cool, maybe you want to do something like a crowd, not bad, and let's drop down random options. Now one thing I will say about the random options and the add-on as a whole, it can be quite quirky depending on what version you're actually using, so keep this in mind. So I'm actually going to add a random rotation and I'll keep it in simple, if you go to advanced it just lets you control the minimum and maximum values which is pretty cool. So I'll add in a rotation in simple and I'll make it something like 130 degrees, nothing happens. Why? Well essentially the script needs to be told, I need to update. So if we actually change the random seed, so we'll just go to 1, you'll see that it will now update the script. And that kind of goes all the way through. So for example I want to change the offset to maybe 4 meters, you'll notice it reverts back. So just keep that in the back of your mind when you're using it. And if you want to get a random rotation back, let's change the seed again, pretty cool. So I have a whole bunch of cubes, what can we do with it? So I'm going to select the first cube, let me just quickly hide the properties, and I'll add in a rigid body. And I'll probably change the collision to a box. Now I don't necessarily want to go through every single default cube and hit rigid body. There's got to be an easier way, and of course there is. So I'm going to drop down the outliner and I'm actually going to box select all these cubes. So I'll press B to do a box select. I'll select all the cubes and then I'll come to my default cube and I'll hold shift. So you can see that I actually selected the one that I want to copy as the last one. And if I press F3 or spacebar in my case, I'm going to look for copy rigid body settings. And that's a quick way to copy rigid body settings to all objects. And I'll hit this. And that means my cube will now essentially have a rigid body. So it's essentially copied the first one and it's added it to all these. So let's do a shift in 8 and we'll add in a ground plane for example. Let me scale this up by pressing S. Let's quickly move this down. And let's add a rigid body and let's make this passive so it pretty much acts like a collision object. We'll leave everything on default, we'll hit play. And we got a whole bunch of cubes dropping. Magic! Just keep in mind, it can be quite quirky at times. Say la vie. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, I've got a few mates, you know what to do. Peace.